You are now live, Danny boy. Uh, hello, everybody. Sorry, that just threw me off, Garrett. Uh, started this off by saying you got to be real quick. I got 18% battery. So I'm going to be talking <laughs> fast today, apparently. Um, thank you guys for joining. And we are Pack Room Distributors. We are here to talk everything about beer, everything about the tasting of it, everything about local beer, everything about the business of beer. Um, we come to you live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, as always, join in, shoot us questions, uh, DM us later. Uh, if you like some of the, if you if you look like you like some of the beers that we uh, do here, uh, shoot us a DM. We can even just send it to you, as long as you promise to do a blog about them or write a review about them and tag us on it. So um, today, uh, whoa, 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 yes, who are we listening to? And you're already wearing your sweater. I'm so you, wearing you need to address sweater. both. Well, I, I, we only have eighteen percent batteries. So <laughs> I, have to, I, have to, I have to be quick about it. Uh, today we're not listening to John and Roy, and no, they didn't sue us, but we're listening um, to another wicked local band called Current Swell. Uh, these are another one of my favorite guys. I'm actually going to go see them uh, in Victoria on December 1st or 2nd. Super cool. At the old Sugar Nightclub, man. It's going to be super radical. Um, but we're, we're, we're just going to start throwing in some uh, other local artists. And again, please don't sue us. So, because uh, we did footnote it. So we did. We so did. it's authentic. We did. Today okay. we're going to look at some pale ales. Uh, some West Coast pale ales. Some ones that have West Coast right in the name. So West Coast pale ale of uh, Postmark. We've got the uh, Phillips, and we've got a uh, one from uh, Off the Rail. Garrett, what would you like to start with? Uh, let's do Off the Rail. I off think the Rail. That, yes, yes. Let's let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start this one by saying this is actually one of my favorite uh, panels on the market. It is, and you're not lying. <clears throat> it's uh, it's 40 IBUs. Um, it is a uh, they're now in cans, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever had one from a can. Let's see if that tastes any different. Uh, it's nicely balanced. They won 2016 a lot of, gold medal winner. Yeah, they've, uh, they've won twice now. I think yeah. they won 2017 as well. Uh, these guys are on fire with uh, with this one. So um, 40 IBU, 5.0 percent alcohol. My personal favorite. This along with the Karma Citra are my two favorite. Uh, from off the road. From off the road for right. sure. Yeah. Let's get right into it, Mike. Yep. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. You get it. Well, hit me up, bro. Or is nice copper colors. A little darker than most pails. Yep. Great profile. That head. Thick, frothy. Everything that you want in a pail. Nice little color to the, uh, to the foam. Uh, this is done with a, I want to say a golden hop. Um, so it's a local hop. It's a two-row barley uh, that, that they use. So it's kind of an English style. Mm, it is delicious. <laughs> it's going to be like a, a Pacific Northwest hop with a bit of English style uh, pillow. Definitely true. It even says in the hop, Dan, you were right. You know? Lightly done. Lysed roasted English barley. Look at you go, Ben. I like what you say on here. It's almost like you know what you're talking about. This blessed plot, this earth, this realm, this <laughs> England. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, Does it actually say that? That's, awesome. <laughs> that's actually awesome. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, this is nice, well balanced. It's, it's 40 IBUs. It doesn't taste like it. Um, it's got a good malt half to it. I mean, you can see it right in the color. Um, just a great pale ale. It doesn't linger for too long. I find some pale ales have a lot of kind of ash or earthy flavor to it. Um, this one doesn't. Uh, it's just a good, clean, perfect little, little pale ale. The way it's nice. Um, nice. This is one of the ones that, that I will always have this in the fridge at home. This is kind of one of my go-tos. Cool. Um, really, really great job. Great job, Steve. Handcrafted. Awesome. Approved by Steve. Approved by Steven. No, I, I'm a big fan of it too. Now, so. While we drink this, do we want to talk a little bit? Uh, uh, we broke this out. This is one of the beers that we'll be trying as well. Yeah. So let me show the label first, but you can speak yeah, to it. Yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show the label. Um, I'll just speak to the beer itself. So this is from Phillips. Phillips is on Vancouver Island um, uh, in Victoria. This is their shortwave, uh, or sorry, West Coast Pale Ale shortwave. Yeah. But main reason we're talking about this right now is we want to talk about the environmental work that, that Phillips is doing. That's really awesome. So if you look right on the bottom. On the lower portion. Upside down? No. no, that's right. It shows kind of every aspect of brewing what they do. And beer's an interesting thing because actually beer is uh, beer is generally quite environmentally friendly. Uh, most of the time it's either done in recycled cans or bottles. Um, there's two things to the, to the process of beer that isn't good. Number one, uses a ton of water to brew beer, a ton of water. Um, and also uh, more the business side of thing, all the, the, the POS, the packaging, all that kind of stuff can right. sometimes be bad. So, but the, but the general heart of beer really isn't that isn't that bad. You know, a lot of the stuff they use is a lot of malts, grains, and stuff like that. After they use it, most of the stuff is actually shipped up to farm fields, mm. and farmers will actually pick it up for free and take it out there as long as they get rid of it for free. Right. Uh, all the stuff. So a, a lot of the ingredients are reused. But let's let's kind of walk through here. So, so this is Phillips labels. Uh, recycled. If you notice with a Phillips label, it, it, some people might say it and like, oh, it looks kind of cheap. Well, it's 100% recycled, uh, recycled paper. Show them again. Use, so. But you also uh, get like the the nicks in it like that off the bottling line. Yeah. 
It's just recycled. The bottle as well. Talk about the bottle, Danny boy. Well, we'll talk about the bottle. We'll first, we'll talk about. Uh, we'll, we'll go down the line. So their labels, 100% recycled. The glass is repurposed. So all the stuff, all the breakage that they have in, in brewery, which can be quite a bit of, uh, is all repurposed and used by a local company to make countertops. Um, water. What I was talking about before with water. This was a big issue uh, in California or it still is a big issue in California. They have huge droughts down there. Imagine all the craft breweries they have down there and the amount of water that they use. I think to make every pint of beer takes eight pints of water mm. to make that. So there's the steaming process, there's cleaning. I mean, just hosing the brewery down is it, an insane amount because you have to keep it squeaky clean in there. So um, that's a big issue in California. A lot of people are saying, hey, screw all these craft brewers. We need drinking water for carnival. Right. Because they literally don't have any. So uh, this is great. They use 30% uh, less. Uh, less water. I'm not exactly sure how they do it, but they've uh, they've used 30% less than they did in 2011. Yep. So, um, next is the uh, reused bottles. So they use an industry standard bottle, a bottle that also Molson and Labatt uses. Um, and these bottles are used, I think, upwards of 14 times. 14 times and before which is why you crushed. Get these, yes. these chips and stuff on it on, on the side. Uh, it's not an inferior bottle. In fact, it's quite different. Actually, it's, it's a very. Um, I think it's cool. It's a, it's actually a better, thicker bottle. Uh, because it has to be used 14 times, mm -hmm. right? So all the other ones, all the other bottles that are, are just one use, a lot of times they're thinner and they just don't have to be as good as quality, right? So, it's um, interesting just to jump in how, yeah. I mean, premium in Asia is very much a uh, unique bottle, pristine looking, and just because there's so many craft breweries in, in the Pacific Northwest, this is a premium bottle. This is what it looks like because yeah. this is how they're differentiating by the environmentally friendly aspect. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyways, go back to it. Uh, grain, really good. Uh, a lot of the grain, um, let's, let's, let's see here. Uh, a lot of the grain from brewing tastes quite divine to bovine connoisseurs. We make brew that feeds. So what I was talking about before, how a lot of this stuff is actually shipped up. Now these are, guys are bigger. A lot of the smaller guys, they can't quite do that. Um, but, uh, but these guys are a lot bigger. So, uh, so they're able to do that. And the last one is steam. They recapture the steam to, uh, heat the next batch. Awesome. Shall we pour? Let's pour. Speaking of that. Let's try this one right here then. Let's do it, else. buddy. Let's do it. Six. <coughs> Six percent battery. Yeah. Oh my we, god, we, we I gotta, we gotta move. I gotta we move. We gotta kick Why, it. Not, this is intense. It's 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 a flash it's a flashback Friday or a flash forward Friday for that matter. Uh, while you're pouring that, everybody, if you wanna try any of these beers and you are in Asia or anywhere outside of the continental United States, Ajahn Star, I'm speaking because I know you wanted some, but we can't ship to the U.S. because they're assholes. Cheers. Um, cheers, bud. Uh, happy Friday. Happy Friday. So this one definitely on the nose is a lot more hot poured, a little less malt. Um, a little lighter in color, hmm? certainly. Quite a bit lighter in color. Yeah, bud. Still a great head, though. Highly carbonated, you can see. Yeah, definitely a little form. more hot forward. Um, I think it says it right on here. The last one was English style. Certainly a little more English style, especially with the malt. Yeah. Uh, this one, West Coast, coming coming a little hot, uh, hot port as opposed to uh, malt flavored. So um, lighter in body, but hoppier if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Because it just pulled back on the on the malt, um, and uh, the off the rails is certainly picked up on it. So uh, great job here. Certainly you're you're perfect. I mean, this is these guys are in Victoria. You can't get more West Coast than Victoria. Literally. Because it's right on the west coast, um, <laughs> and and I just love everything. I can move to Victoria. I absolutely love their own school there. And, and You're also a hipster. Just, just tastes like Victoria. So you know what this is? This is West Coast in a bottle here. I hate you. West Coast in a glass. On that note, people, um, <laughs> if you want to taste any of these. Shoot us a DM. We're going to make it quick just for battery's sake. But yeah. um, if you want to taste any of them, let us know. Shoot us a direct message. We are on Apple Music now and Spotify with our podcast. We are on Medium in it, written long it's really form. It's interesting. If, if you're in, uh, into beer, our podcasts are very different from this. What we do is we, we take an ingredient of beer and we break it down scientifically, all that kind of stuff. So we just did water. We talked about water for about 10 minutes and... and, and why water is the way it is and why beer is, is tastes the way it does from certain different different parts of the world. So that's kind of the way we do it. How, what's our percentage at? It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're, on, we're on Anchor, people. Uh, it is, I th it's Pack Rim Beer, I believe. Pack Rim Beer. Check it out, they're interesting. It's very different from this. You're not gonna get a lot of the same, right? So on each one of our mediums, we try and uh, uh, do something a little different for you. Yep. Okay, big kiss. Thank you guys, Signing have a great everybody. weekend. Cheers. Happy Friday. <laughs>